like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Do baked beans, smoked mac and cheese, seasoned waffle fries, definitely some greens. Get a little extra butter in there for me. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do country potato salad. Damn. What? I'm just trying to get my weight up. Gotta get your weight up, nigga. Don't play around me. Everything I smash, AP. Step up in the game, look around, all eyes on me. I remember when I started low key. Homie, never play up. This rap shit is easy like a layup. Never stay down long, I'm way up. Riding in the whip with a chick whose name I can't pronounce. I just spend it, I ain't checking my. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Vada underscore fly, tell your mama I said hi, salute to my guy Showtime SP. If you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel. Like the way we bouncing, we heading to 80,000. We about 100 subscribers away, so you know, let's get there, let's get there. We got some things going on. So I have like three or four different subjects that I could have did two, three blogs about, but we are gonna put it all in one. So I would highly suggest, if you like the content, to stick around because I'm gonna I'm a go, you know what I mean? Um, so. Remy Ma, salute to Remy Ma and all that she's got going on is making power moves. Power moves. See, the thing is, she had already been doing things, but now these moves that she's about to make are definitely about to shake sh up. So, had a couple events, Chrome 23, when she originally started. Didn't really have much of a battle rap crowd in there. It was like a lot of just talking. Hot 97 did the, the stream. I believe... Uh, Jade, the one that used to be with Black Compass, allegedly left or was booked. She was she was supposed to be doing the face-off or the stream or the hosting, and she didn't do it, no show, and I haven't really seen her since. So uh, the first stream had Misfit and uh, E. Hart. You know what I'm saying? It was what it was. It was a lot of drinking. It was a lot of complaining. It was long breaks between the battles and things like that, and it was what it was. The audio issues, mic issues, but Chrome definitely had... A basis of where they could start from. They had dope venues, um, a lot of promotion, and people saw it for what it was. Then she continued, and she continued, and she just did the uh, pay-per-view stream with Hitman Holla versus uh, Easy to Block Captain. Now, the stream in general, for the most part, most of the night was good. It had an unfortunate scenario in the final battle. You know, the culture reacts the way it does. I respect the after what Remy did. Remy went on three Letterman. She spoke. She addressed everything. She didn't duck no smoke. She stayed out there and let people know that she would continue to be in the battle rap culture. She picks up Easy the Black Captain and start managing him. And now him versus Hitman is dropping like a week after the battle happened. This don't even happen in battle rap. There's rarely any leagues that are selling or pushing a VOD or a pay-per-view that drop the main event within the same week. Why did that main event happen to drop within the same week? Okay, you got it. the hottest subject in battle rap. Anytime you turn the camera on, talk about Hitman Hollow, or talk about Easy, you you see what it does. Hottest subject, everybody wants to know. People got their own opinions. Some people didn't see the battle, other people did. And now she's like, you know what? Price of the brick went up. Just throw it out there right now. Before URL could even come back and do the Kings versus Queens and they in the middle of their promotion, Bam, we putting another one out. Let's just let it out. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. Um, so how does that change the game? If you're an artist, you know what I'm saying, and you're looking outside at what's going on in the YouTube streets on the algorithm, and all your, your career stuck in the app, you're, you're, oh, it ain't my vault. You're stuck in the vault, period. I don't care what nobody says. I got something about that shit in a few. I did a blog about the app and the co uh, consumer retention and things like that. It's got almost 700 comments on it. I don't do blogs that get 700 comments, so a lot of fans are voicing their opinion. I know you are, I know these niggas watch my blogs. Trust me, I do. It's unavoidable. What up, Smack? What up, Bees? What up, P? What up, Chico? What up, all you niggas? It's unavoidable. I know, I know. And the crazy thing is, a lot of the media that they don't really fuck with like that, they're the ones with the wave. Like, even the, the niggas that you got... <laughs> 
ain't doing what the niggas that you don't got got. So you gotta see it. I'm sorry, it's here. What can we do? Yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. So Remy says, I'm putting out Easy versus Hitman the same week. What that does for battle rap? If you're a battle rapper looking around at the stake of the culture and what's going on, you like, yo, I want that for me. You know what I'm saying? I want that with my career. I want to do that. I want my shit to come out. I want to be on Joe Budden Podcast. I want to be on Hollywood Unlocked. I want to get my battle released in the same week. Remy said, if you tired of being on an app, come to death row. If you tired of your battles not coming out, if you tired of being blocked when you're trying to go to other leagues, come to death row. See? I'd like to tell Tupac to keep his guards up. We ride with him. And one other thing I'd like to say, any artist out there who want to be an artist and want to stay a star and don't want to, don't want to have to worry about the executive producer trying to be all in the video, all on the record, dancing, come to Death Rock. And, and, and people look at a lot of other leagues and things like that and wonder why artists, I, I've always been one. You can check, check the files. I got dozens and dozens of videos where I always say, you're only good as your last battle. So all these artists that are being so loyal to these leagues, a lot of these niggas can't call smack on the phone. What kind of shit is here? These niggas cannot pick up the phone and call their boss and say, yo, I think I would be a good look to get me versus Reed. Or yo, I think I would get Boo, boo, boo. They cannot do that, nigga. They gotta go through a nigga, they gotta go through a nigga, they gotta go through a nigga to get to a nigga, bro. That's how it goes. A lot of these niggas. They don't pick up the phone. Remy Ma is in people's DM trying to book the artist. She's feet and knuckles on the ground. That's why she's winning. She's going to these places. When Easy Words went to Joe Button Podcast, she went with the nigga there. She was, you know, making sure these artists had hair and nails and makeup and all this type of stuff. You got to respect that. So she's giving people an alternative. Now, URL's been around for years. They got their business model. They promoting their product. They pushing their artists and shit like that. But at the same time, we see what's going on. We see where the promo is at. We see what is cooking right now. Bro, I just seen a New Jersey twerk promotional video for him versus Carl. These niggas is doing pro. Niggas doing promo now? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Oh, shit. I haven't seen a promo video from an artist on URL in probably two years, my nigga. When I seen the promo video, I was happy he did it. I hope he stays in that bag. It's what the fans love. But where was this shit at the last two years? Not from him, but from all the artists. Why? Do, I've been saying this. Niggas show up, battle, go home, shit drops on the app, nobody knows about it. So I dropped a blog about Jazz the Rapper yesterday, expressing her frustrations. Her battles not being out, and nobody really knowing that she still battles anymore. And I said, I was like, yo, I could do 15,000 on this blog. It did it in a day. I mean, I ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, ho, ho, ho. It's just me. I forgot, I forgot. I should have said 20. But it did that in one day, right? Because it's, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. So um, I was saying that as far as, oh, it's like, yeah, it's at 15 right now, respectfully. That's what they say nowadays, right? Um, it's, uh, so, so. And this is her expressing her frustration about her battles not being released, about her career, you know, this is being a little stagnant. She can't, you know what I'm saying? She battled four times last year, half them shits ain't come out. You know what I'm saying? They stuck in the vault. So, you got Remy Ma now that is able to provide an alternative. Yo, you wanna get you wanna get a bag? Yo, you wanna get a look? Yo, you want a name? And oh, you want your battle to release in a week? Come to Death Row. Come get a look over here. I'll make sure your battles get out. I put your shit out in a week. <laughs> A fucking week, I ain't never seen no shit like this before. So, let's move it further. Rumor has it that Norbs is back in the play. Norbs is back in the play. Let me let me uh, let me read um what the um what the post from Norbs Facebook account said. Uh shout out to everybody on Facebook. I don't really do Facebook much, but you know what I'm saying? I don't got one, but uh like battle rap wise and shit. I got shit for work, personal shit that I actually know my family and shit on, and I ain't bringing that to battle rap, so that ain't happening. Um Norb says, rumor mill, Remy Ma has come to an agreement with the greatest talent evaluator in the history of battle rap to build her roster. This just came through the pipeline. What's your thoughts at everyone? 
What's your thought? I'm gonna give you my thoughts, Norbs. And that was on um, OTFMZ, you know what I'm saying? I did see it there. I do give credit to where I seen it at. So, what's my thought? Is Norbs the greatest talent evaluator ever? Yes. Yes, he is. Norbs, you can say whatever you want. And I've been telling y'all about this. Y'all can say what you want. You know what I mean? This is the Remy Ma effect on battle rap. You can say what you want. Norbs, yes, he did some slime ball shit. A lot of niggas have done slime. URL's done slime ball. You see it. I'm hearing rumors that they about to sue Remy. Bro, really? Yeah. Why? Why not? I heard it. It's through the streets. Don't ask me where I heard it from. It don't matter. Guess what? The niggas who's in the battle rap, like the bloggers, we are very tied in. They might not publicly tell you, or everybody not, might not publicly tell you who they speak to and who they tell things to, but artists try to get messages through bloggers. Uh, leagues try to get messages. They throw darts. They want you to talk about certain things, you know what I'm saying? Like gripping a hammer. How many niggas you know can talk for 10 minutes straight on camera? I don't stutter. I don't stumble. I don't slip. I don't blip. All of these shits be coming out, and I don't have no notes. So they want that message out. Um, so you have now Norbs may be into play. What is Norbs good for? Norbs is good for evaluating talent. He may have his ups, he may have his downs. I, I you know what I'm saying? Norbs found me. That's how I know. And I'm probably, listen, like, this is a, a, a true evaluation. When I, when Norbs found me, I wasn't even a blogger. I was talking shit about battle rap online and on Facebook and shit like that. I might have made a video or two, but him finding, him contacting me and telling me, oh, you need to blah, 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 that turned into what we have here now today. Now, did we fall out? Of course we fell out because niggas ain't want to pay me. And then it was like, yo, they, they felt like they was paying me with opportunity. Nigga, that ain't no fuck opportunity to don't pay no bills, nigga. Fuck that. We get into this bread. <laughs> but I, I still got a lot of love and respect for them because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Uh, so, I will always have a certain level of respect for Norbs. Talent evaluation wise, he's a great, look at the MCs and the artists that he found. A lot of the people that we come to know today were found through Norbs. The Chesses, the John Johns, the, uh, for a lot of these motherfuckers. Uh, you could go up and down, Briz, uh, T-Top, New Jersey Twerk. Like, I don't care what nobody say. I, I could feel like, oh, Jazz was around and she was at Twerk back. All of that shit had to go through Norbs. I was at Lou Castro's uh, battle, he had a battle in like DC or whatever, and I heard him, I thought he was nice. When I had to, so, to tell people who he was, I had to go through Norbs and tell P and all these niggas at the time, and they was the ones who evaluated the talent from then. What I'm saying is he has an eye for talent. The Geechee Gotti's, I remember Norbs flying to LA to go to a Geechee Gotti battle and calling me on the phone and telling me it's a new MC out the West, his name is Blue Blue. He is a talent evaluator. That's the one thing, if nothing else, he can do. Now, are there other people who evaluate talent? Of course there's other people who evaluate talent. But if he's in the fold and what she has going on, I think it's going to be big. So, um, and you know, I know people are looking at like, oh, Norbs is just trying to go over there because he got the lawsuit and they ain't fucking with him, a URL, yada, yada, yada. Of course, exactly. Uh, and <laughs> what they say, a friend of my enemy is my friend. Some shit, you know, y'all niggas know how it go. So, I can see him trying to make a, a move like that. So, let's keep it moving, right? So... She's providing an alternative for MCs. Hitman, Hitman Holler versus Easy, the Black Captain, is going to drop today. Literally, like seven to eight days later. That shit don't happen in battle rap. There's niggas waiting for their battles to drop two, three years ago. <laughs> there are people waiting. To <laughs> there are people who are really waiting for their battles to drop from two, three years ago. Do you believe in a parallel app verse? I do. The game is soft. Four, five, letting chambers off. Y'all tease Cortez for all of them years, and y'all work for the same boss. So now your league, your career, and all your accomplishments live in the same vault. Bar God. Do you believe in a parallel app verse? You niggas live in an app. Period. There's no way across the board. Now, I see a lot of MCs that are trying to, like, spin it and try to make it seem a little better, and try to make it seem like, oh, well, who have they discovered? Sister, do, 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 do. Maybe you're not being seen. And I've been telling y'all this for years. Reverb been telling y'all this for years. Now Jazz is coming out. And it's a lot of other MCs. They tell me on the phone. They don't go public with it. 
I had a conversation with a top tier MC just last night. I got 5, 10, 15, however many battles he told me he got. It's a lot. And he's like, why, why can't my battle from two years ago be released on YouTube? Or why can't my battle that I had on this card? I can't say the cards because if I start to say, you're going to kind of like dwindle it down to who told me this shit. That's not really what I'm here for. So, trust me, the artists feel the same way. These niggas is looking out. They, the nigga who I was on the phone was like, yo, if you could get me over there, if you could get me a phone call, put the word in, I want to go do that. That's exactly what he said. I want to do that. I want to be on Joe Button. I want to have my shit released in a week. I'm gonna probably still do shit over here, but I need the look. I don't blame him, because I see what's going on. Let's go a little further. So, and like I said, I'm putting this all out in one blog. I could have literally made two, three different subjects, but I said, fuck it, let's just give you a gumbo and put it all together. So, these are the power moves, and Remy Ma is needed and essential in battle rap. Yeah, if your stream go wrong, we gotta turn, it, it, dang, it is what it is. This is this is a equal opportunity employer. You know what I mean? Like, you get equal credit, you get equal slander, no matter what the league is. I fuck with Red Breed, I fuck with Chrome 23, I fuck with all of them. But if they know if the shit don't go right, we gonna talk tonight. ARP is my man. I love what ARP is doing over there with, with Rap Grid. You know, he had the pay-per-view. They got the Hollow Don versus Ill Will. They got another event coming on. I'm hearing Rosenberg Raw saying this event is gonna change battle rap. We need alternatives. I don't care. If you like fast food, McDonald's should not be the only place that you can go. I need to have Taco Bell. I need to have KFC. I need to have uh, I need to have all these options. Even Waffle House. I fuck with Waffle House. Um, so that's that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a big, 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 big step. Uh you got and I'm moving along. We're gonna keep keep the subject matter moving. You got Charlie Clips versus Jazz the Rapper on URL. I feel like this is a great battle. Uh I don't, I'm not, I, SP's not here, so we will break it down and feel like who's winning and et cetera, et cetera, Kings versus Queens, we'll see how that goes. And, um, you know, I just want the artist to do better for themselves. Um, speaking of artists to do better for themselves, there's like a couple of scenarios now. I mean, I'm going to talk about them. I put them in here, and you know what I'm saying? Y'all take them for what they may be. But uh, this Spaces thing, man. Salute to everybody's Spaces, you know what I'm saying, who do their thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to tear down the platform, et cetera, et cetera. Like, that's just not what it is. But some of these arguments and some of this violence and some of this shit that y'all talk, bro, like, what is going on here? Like, I never do them. I don't be in them and stuff like that. But the stuff that I hear and the clips that I hear, I heard, I got word that an artist, you know what I'm saying, threatened to kill <laughs> league owners on spaces. Like, you literally, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm so shocked at this, bro. Like, I don't know Piranha personally. I'm just, I said his name, I don't know him personally, I've never been around, I don't know nothing about But there should be no reason why I'm getting word that you are calling a league owner, or calling a scout, or calling time. You gonna kill P, my nigga? Hey yo, what the fuck? Not P, that's my dog, you gonna kill P? Like, what the fuck is y'all niggas got going on right now? Like, if you don't like what's going on in the URL, you can go battle on another league, or just say fuck it, do the easy way. Nigga, I'm out, I'm going to battle over here, yo, Chrome, what's up, boom. But when you... Threaten or say you're gonna smoke somebody or yo don't don't have I saw the tweet So the first tweet said y'all might as well cancel Kings versus Queens 3 and I'm like one of the last people to speak about this because You know this type of shit. I'd be like whatever. It's like y'all might as well cancel the event I'm like mm, why cancel the event? I mean it looks good. I thought he was saying cancel it because he ain't like the card No cancel it because I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna smoke <laughs> Bro Whatever you got going on, man, you know what I'm saying? I hope that you get it together and do the shit that you need to do, but it should not be coming to the table that this is shit y'all got going on over here. I just told y'all all the shit that's going on on Chrome and how they about to drop Easy versus Hitman and woo woo woo. I'm getting word that artists is threatened. <laughs> I know y'all niggas want y'all battles released, but dog, this is not the. No, nah, niggas gonna kill P and B's. I swear to God, I got the phone call yesterday. This is what's going on. If that's the case, just stay out of the space, my nigga. Like, for real, don't leave traces in the spaces. Even if you're going to do some shit or you got beat, bro, don't be in there. Because once you put that recording out of that audio, nigga, that shit is for the whole world to see. And you can't be mad if somebody talk about it because you said it. I didn't say it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just a nigga with a camera that reports the news. So I hope all is well in your personal life. But that threatening niggas and you're going to shoot niggas and you run around, blip, 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 bro. What the? What? Why? Why? 
So at the end of the day, basically what the story is, I'm getting a story that this nigga told P or Beasley and both, might have called both, and was like, yo, when I see you, I'm gripped up and you're getting shot. That shit shouldn't be happening. Let's move it a little further. Same shit. Ace I mean, I fuck with Ace I mean. I got no issue with him. I seen him a couple of events recently. I always say what up to him because I, I like his story. I like what he does in battle rap. But this shit you and Gwitty got going on, bro, like, what is this about? Like, what are y'all doing? Like, you in there threatening this man. Y'all going back and forth. You going to see each other. You calling him a B, a B, a B, a B, a B, a B. Bro, like, what, what, why? Like, what, I understand. I said you going to see me. Where you see me? Where you see me a lot of times? Nah, nah, you see me, bro. Nah, but you, you over here talking about niggas' mothers. That, 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 I just like, said like, I, don't, like, I didn't know this mother like, was dead. What the fuck you want me to say? I ain't yeah. know that. The fuck? What you want me to say? Yeah. What you want me to say? I knew it. I didn't know, nigga. I just straightened it. I still a... Bro, listen. I will crack your fucking head open, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I said what the fuck I said. I said what, I'm sorry. Whatever, whatever, you know what boy. the fuck is up, whatever, nigga? Boy. You know what's up, nigga? My bare hands, bro. Yeah, go, get a, go get a knife, bro. Go get, go get I, I, niggas, bro. I, I, I know, go get niggas, bro. I will literally break your fucking neck, bro. You a little nigga. I know. I know. I know. Literally, I know what's up. That's all. Literally, you a bitch. You was a bitch. Don't worry about it, Gwitty. I got a bitch ass nigga. I know what's up. You was a bitch ass nigga, bro. I know that shit. I know what's up. No, why H is talking this shit? Don't worry about it. I know what's up. You bitch ass nigga. That's it. Hey, yo, Rich, why you like that? Like, like, I don't know. I do schools. I do schools. I don't know when to play poker, but you guys know when to you guys know when to hold them and fold them. Shut up, bitch. Like, like, you was a bitch. Fold them. You was a bitch. You still a bitch. You still a bitch. You still here. Let me say all that shit. I ain't know that shit. If I done know that, you still there. Let me say that shit. You bitch ass nigga. Whatever. No, 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 no. We're gonna fuck with you, Ace. We're gonna fuck. You know, Ace be hard on his, you know what I'm saying, on his grind. He do what he do, and I like seeing him come up. I told him last time I spoke to him. He told me who his last battle was. I told him I want to see you do good, because I really do want to see him do good. But this type of stuff, bro, like, what is it going to lead to? Like, why are y'all, y'all, what he said? What, what, what Ill Will said? Y'all be in spaces all day. What's the space for? And y'all be gangster in there. Y'all be having space wars? Like, what the fuck is going on, my nigga? Like, y'all be, and Gwitty, like, I love what Gwitty does. Gwitty adds a lot to battle rap, his reactions. I love his grind. But I hope y'all brothers can see through whatever the hell y'all got going on, because right now, that is not the look. And I don't want anybody to get hurt. I don't want nobody to, you know, lose their life or potentially have to take a life and sit in jail forever over no damn battle rap. Over no space, you niggas is on the phone. Like, what is going on? Like, is it that crazy? What kind of providers y'all niggas got? What kind of cell phone providers do y'all niggas got that y'all have to be, just want to kill each other? Y'all be at the same events. Y'all know when the events is going to be. Y'all know where the flyers is going to be. I don't understand why y'all have to do it online. Salute to both of y'all brothers. I mean no disrespect, but I'm serious. I want to see y'all both th thrive, flourish, and continue to live prosperous lives. Because you, you got a good thing. You getting paid to rap, my nigga. Y'all niggas is getting paid to rap. And when y'all become liabilities, people not gonna have you around. Like, I heard, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, this person go to this league, or why don't they just go over there? You think another league wanna have you over there? That's why when I saw a salute to Chris Unbiased's blog yesterday, when he, or the other day when he was talking about the whole Piranha situation, what league is gonna have you over there? Knowing that if I don't drop your battle, or if I don't book you versus the right talent, you gonna come shoot the owner. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> It's better enough to not have you. Don't become a liability is what I'm telling you niggas. You know what I'm saying? You see what Easy the Black Captains just did. And he came out after all of you niggas. You know what I'm saying? He came out after most of y'all. And see what he's doing with himself. You know what I'm saying? This is not a blog all about Easy. It's a blog about the whole situation, Chrome, and what's going on in Battle Rap. But at the same time, my nigga, you cannot be making yourselves liabilities. You know what I'm saying? Like, because a motherfucker not going to book you. Like, oh, I'd rather just not book the person than to deal with the fact that something could potentially happen because nobody wants to lose their life especially most of these people got fathers or fathers and got kids and it's all this other shit but uh i want to put it all in one um salute to everybody that watches this content whether religiously or in passing um salute to uh, everybody that subscribed to the channel the people that continue to subscribe to the channel because they want their news and content and i'm gonna continue to try to get content out to y'all on a pretty frequent basis but yeah man uh salute to remy I fuck with what you got going on in Chrome. Thank you for dropping Hitman versus uh, Easy in a timely manner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, salute to everybody. You know what I'm saying? URL, y'all niggas doing y'all thing. I see y'all put out a release schedule because of me. You can say what you want, but until I said something about it, it wasn't done. Doesn't matter. I said this shit on my channel. You niggas don't got no release channel. You got no direction. You got no promotion. And boom, you got a release schedule. So. 
to give myself credit for that. I don't care if y'all want to give me credit. Now, nah, I'm going to give myself credit because that shit didn't happen until I said so. What was so hard about a release schedule? What was so hard about it? But um, no, um, like I said, shout out to everybody that do their thing. Shout out to all the media, all the channels and shit like that that cover all of this content. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the time, um, you know, media get the, get the information, they share it, people watch it, and then we talk about it. But we do it on YouTube, and we're going to stay on YouTube because the independent voices is here. We're doing millions and millions of views. There's no reason why media should be more lit than a lot of battle rappers. If you go to certain media's uh, Twitters and Instagrams and shit like that, follow me on Instagram, Vida underscore fly. Um, and on Twitter, you know what I'm saying, Vida underscore fly too. I got 40,000 on Twitter. I got almost 20,000 on Instagram. There's artists that are on leagues and on channels that don't have that following. Get these niggas a following URL. Make these niggas lit. I know why y'all don't do it. Y'all don't be doing it because y'all want to control what's going on. If I don't put your content out, you don't have a view count. If you don't have, oh, I did a million versus John John, I can't come back to you and be like, yo, I need more money. My last battle did 250, this one did a million. So there's no way to gauge it. So I know that's the reason why, but guess what? There's somebody who's giving them that. You think Easy vs. Hitman is not gonna do two million? It's not gonna do a million in a week? Them numbers is in already, baby. The numbers is in. They gonna do 2 million, 2.5, maybe three on a 20, 30,000 subscriber channel. I hope y'all don't sue Remy though. Cause if you do, <laughs> if y'all niggas sue Remy, we can't go from real nigga time to suing Remy over an easy versus Hitman battle when Hitman's not even on URL. Hitman's not on URL, he ain't been on URL, he ain't signing no contract. A lot of other niggas battled on Chrome. Like, you had Nitty versus uh, Gaddis, you had uh, Ab versus Official. I heard y'all niggas gave him bullshit about that, but that's another story. You got mad battlers who battled over there. So you can't be cool when all of these other cards have it and then be tripping over easy battling over there. I guess y'all didn't want him to battle Hitman, but it doesn't matter. Like, that's their league. They could do what they want. It's a small league. I got more subscribers than Chrome. I got more views than Chrome. So you mean to tell me if he came on my channel and battled him, y'all sue me too? <laughs> Y'all niggas better not do that shit. But no, like, if you do, it's cool. Cause we gonna talk about that shit too. <laughs> Easy vs. Hitman's dropping tonight at 8 o'clock. Shit, we might recap it again after the YouTube release. You know what I'm saying? That's the good thing about Chrome. Salute to Chrome, you know what I'm saying? They providing a way for everybody to make money. They make money. The artists make money. I make money talking about it. And we all good. Salute to y'all. Thank y'all for watching. God bless. And I'm gonna do baked beans, smoked mac and cheese, seasoned waffle fries, definitely some greens. Keep a little extra butter in there for me. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do country potato salad. Damn. What? I'm just trying to get my weight up. Gotta get your weight up, nigga. Don't play around me. Everything I smash, AP. Step up in the game, looking round, all eyes on me. I remember when I started low key. Homie, never play us. This rap shit is easy like a layup. Never stay down long, I'm way up. Riding in the whip with a chick whose name I can't pronounce. I just spin it, I ain't checking my.